Hi, my name is Darren Ambrose. I own a company called D&J Ambrose. We've been going for about 25 years. Um, in the industry for a long time, I won't tell you how long, because I'll tell you how old I am, which is a bit of an old dog. And uh, just doing the things we love, really, in the industry, it's so diverse, so you tap into anything. As a company, we, you know, we do fashion week, we do editorials, uh, do the industry, give back to the industry, which I think is really important. Um, education, training, like everything. And lucky enough to be kind of around the world which this industry offers and meeting loads of great people uh, that work in this amazing career, so it's cool. Okay, if you're entering any award or competition in the industry, right, I think it's really important that you have your key elements, and the key elements being, firstly, the face, the model, the guy, right? If you say, like, male grooming, if you're going into a male category or men's or whatever you're doing, um, it's that guy that will deliver something on camera for you and make you pop, you know, make something happen. Very important, mathematically on the face, and also what you can create on his hair. The next people in your team are obviously the makeup artist, the stylist, and the photographer. Photographer being key important, right? Because those guys are the ones that are gonna set the set, set the lighting, set the detail, set the color that comes alive, set the cut that comes alive, give you the information you need as a judge, if you're judging it, to see it and believe it. Um, once you've got that team together, and research it. it doesn't have to cost you loads of money these guys can be found also maybe go to like art colleges go to kind of young up-and-coming guys that are really inspirational have got a lot of drive and passion and want to create something outside the box because sometimes that can be really fresh for you um, once you get that then it's about phone calls meetings and um, touch base so that when you're on that shoot day everyone's fired up and they're kind of ready to go because time's money and if you don't get it quite right, people don't get it quite right, it's going to cost you a bit of money, you know, because you've run over and all that sort of stuff. So just bear that in mind, but it is key. Okay, when you're coming to, again, clothes styling, if you're creating something for the camera and for a competition and awards, uh, the most important thing is to get the story down on paper, on photograph, on a mood board, in your head and in the stylist's head that's working for you. Because again, everybody's got their own creative direction. So a stylist will be very kind of touch base with fashion, fashion week, doing whatever, editorials and everything like that. And you may have your vision, which you obviously have and you're gonna have but it's key that you work together. There's no separation. And sometimes if you don't get it quite right, it can also be very expensive. Um, so those items or your vision for the guy saying male grooming have to be really authentic and tell the story correctly and it's communication. So the key then is to, I always think, dress the person with an authentic vibe. It's real, it feels real. Like there's something about it that you could relate to or um, it's believable, you know? It's like if you look in campaigns, magazines, some of those guys, they're amazing, like Prada, Gucci, you know, like anyone, Tom Ford, it all looks really amazing. But it's because you could believe it, you could wear it or you could feel it. Um, so that I think is really key. The most important thing is to get that palette right. And it's about top to toe. I love, it's, fashion's great anyway, I love fashion, so I think it's equally important to play and step it again outside the box and have a bit of fun. Yeah, in May we're doing um, Trend Vision Awards for Weller, which is a regional heat, and they're touring around the country, which is amazing. Been on those before, they're great fun, and they're a massive inspiration of creativity, not only for the guys that are in the competition, and you see what those guys have done, which is really exciting. But we are doing a show, we're lucky enough and blessed enough to be doing a show, and it's gonna be things that are very much based um, on 2020 Pantone um, colorations and fashion movements. Kind of looking into an individual uh, kind of persona of different individuals. It's not key 
one tribe, it's lots of different people that make up what now is very key about social media and about travel and about just what we've got around us. It's, it's kind of, again, authenticity. There's new colour techniques being involved, um, new ways of applying, new ways of dressing, new ways of kind of feeling a vibe really and just being inspired. It's always about stepping outside a box like I was saying and um, just coming away with something really exciting. And I think what's great is the industry offers so many different avenues and what we have is great palettes, especially with Weller with the colour umbrella, you know, and what's, what's underneath it, as well as the colours, we've got the products. So it just shows you what you can achieve and what can be stretched using that. And it's always exciting to kind of, you know, push it out of the bag or just do something different. Okay, and also I think on the um, regional heats with the with the Trend Vision shows, you've got something that's going to be happening that's new and I think very exciting. It's more of a hub, like a fashion hub or a creative hub. There's not a separation of the performance and the artist and the audience. So what I would say to the audience is you're sort of much more up in the face, more close and personal. And, uh, you know, we can talk to you guys, you can talk to us, it's more open. Um, there's more kind of freedom of walking about. There's some amazing kind of concepts going on around us, um, which is really cool. And I think the way it's put together, it just is a modern kind of new slant on kind of showing creativity and giving you some freedom of education, basically. Um, and it's a good one to do, and I'm looking forward to meeting some new people. So I think if you want a night out and you want to have a little bit of fun, be educated, be inspired. I think it's a great one to get involved with. So even if you're not in the competition, I think it's you know definitely one to just come along anyway and join the party of being creative.